Zwifters, Eric with Zwift Insider here. Now, in all this talk about the Zwift ride and Apple TV, Zwifters are asking if there's a way to connect your trainer, your heart rate monitor, and the Zwift Ride's play controllers all directly to the Apple TV without having to go through the companion app. Now, as Zwifters know, especially Apple TV using Zwifters, uh, there's a two Bluetooth connection limit on the Apple TV. So we run into that limit when we're trying to connect a trainer, a heart rate monitor, and some other device. So I'll show you what that limit looks like. I've got my Wahoo Kicker V6 here. If I connect it by Bluetooth, and then I go to connect the ride controllers, which are seen as just one channel. The two controllers are one Bluetooth connection. And then I go to connect my heart rate. Watch what happens. Oop, I get this message. You've reached its limit because it, that's three Bluetooth connections I'm trying to do. So watch this though. There's a way to do it. If I hit cancel and I change my kicker connection, I'm going to disconnect this. There we go. Change my kicker connection to the network connection instead of Bluetooth. So this is the network one. That's my Wi-Fi connection, but also if you have the Direct Connect device, it would also work. If I connect by that, and then go over here and connect my heart rate, watch what happens. Huh. I can connect all three. Because the Apple TV doesn't see that network connection for the kicker as a Bluetooth connection. So you've only actually got two Bluetooth connections going in terms of how Apple TV sees it, just the play controllers and the heart rate, while the trainer itself is connected through Wi-Fi. And that's it. All those devices work just fine on Apple TV when you do it that way. So I hope this tip helps uh, kicker owners and uh, simplifies your setup. Right on, everybody.